Hi guys, welcome to businessprogrammer.com tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm looking at LibreOffice again, and what I'm actually looking at is the LibreOffice Calc Advanced Filter, which is quite good for analyzing data. Not quite as good as the Excel Advanced Filter, but having said that, LibreOffice is an awesome spreadsheet and it's free, so you can't really knock that. I want to get a sub list. Uh, this particular list in column 8B goes down to roughly row 560. And what I'm going to want to do is extract a sub list from all of this data, which will show me rows, or which will show me the rows that only contain the keyword Excel. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is uh, type Excel into the cell D2. Um, D1 to D2 in this instance are what we're going to call the criteria, i.e. the filter, the filter criteria that the advanced filter uses in order to uh, decide what we want to look at. One of the important elements of a criteria is that it's got to contain the field name to correspond with the row with the data, to correspond with the column data that you're looking at. So for example, if we're going to query column B keyword name, well then uh, keyword name needs to, be, needs to be put into the criteria. So now we have uh, Excel in the keyword name, so what we now need to do is click on the list and go to the menu and choose data, filter, advanced filter, and in the dialog box, paint your criteria. In this instance, it's going to be D1 through D2. Click on the Options tab or open up the Options. Uh, Chevron, I guess, the term is. Choose Copy Results to and choose an area to put it to. In this instance, we're going to put the data to cell F1 and click OK. And here we have our extract report showing rows that only contain the keyword Excel within them. So that would be Excel at the beginning or the end or somewhere within the center of the text. So now we're going to get into using regular expressions. What I want to do here is just do an extract of the data from column A and B that contains Excel at the beginning of the sentence. In order to do this, we're going to use regular expressions. So the regular expression syntax that we're going to use is the hat symbol, which is the other circumflex symbol, which is the symbol over the six on your keyboard. And then we're going to use, then we're going to open parentheses, type the keyword and close the parentheses. What this does is regular expressions normally just deal with individual characters. Um, we don't want individual characters, we want to deal with strings, we want to deal with words. So uh, the parenthesis indicates that we're looking at a group, and a group in this situation is a word or a string. So we're going to look for the group Excel, and the hat symbol at the beginning says we only want the group Excel to occur at the beginning of the sentence. So now we're going to extract the data. So click in the list, again go to data, filter, advanced filter, dialog comes up. Select your criteria area, click options, copy results to, but in this instance, um, copy results to and choose your extract area. Remember in this instance also to click regular expressions because this, this is the first time we're using regular expressions. And OK, now you can see we have got a sub-extract of data containing only Excel at the beginning of the sentence. Now I want a sub-report of all rows from the list that contain Excel at the end of the sentence. So this is a new regular expression similar to the old one. We take off the hat at the beginning of the sentence and put a dollar sign at the end. And that's it. If you want the keyword to appear at the end of the sentence, put a dollar at the end. If you want it to, at the beginning of the sentence, put a hat at the beginning. So again, it's data, filter, advanced filter, paint your criteria area, click on options, then copy results to, paint your extract area, or get the left, get the cell, which is F1 in this instance. And remember to take regular expressions then click OK. 
And there you have it, a much smaller sublist of about eight items which contain the keyword Excel at the end of the sentence. In this instance, there are only eight items out of a list of 560. Data that excludes Excel. In this instance, I want rows that do not have Excel in them. The regular expression for this is a little more complicated. You start off with the hat symbol, followed by two open parentheses, a question mark, an exclamation mark, a keyword, close parentheses, period, close parentheses, asterisk, dollar. Now, now you could go and try and figure out what all this does in detail. My, uh, not operation or an exclude operation just follow this particular pattern putting a keyword inserting a keyword in the correct place so click on the list data filter advanced filter page your criteria and click on the options chevron remember to check regular expressions and take copy results to and in this instance we're doing it to f1 and click OK. And now we have a report that excludes the keyword Excel. The next query I'm going to talk about is an exclude query. Uh, remember we've got 560 rows of data here. So what I want to do in this instance is build a report that excludes data that contains either Excel or database or SQL Server or FileMaker or Microsoft. This will be an AND query, so I guess the correct way to express this is as exclude data that contains Excel and exclude data that contains database and exclude data that contains SQL Server, FileMaker and Microsoft. So in order to do this, for each of the items we want to exclude with this AND query, we're going to repeat the column name in the criteria for each of these exclude items. So we're going to have to type out or copy out keyword name being the title of column B for each of our exclude items. So that's going to be a total of five exclude items. So we've already got the exclude item for the keyword Excel. We'll type the exclude filter hat open parentheses twice question mark exclamation mark keyword in this instance database close the parentheses period close the parentheses asterisk and dollar and copy that to the other cells. So inserting SQL Server into F2 and we're going to insert FileMaker into G2. And now we want to get rid of Microsoft also. So we'll change FileMaker to Microsoft. Click on the list to Data, Filter, Advanced Filter, Paint our criteria range, which is now D1 through H2. Click on the Options Chevron. Click Regular Expressions. Copy results to, and we'll click cell D10. OK. And now we have a report that excludes Excel, Database, SQL Server, FileMaker, and Microsoft. So it would be simpler from that perspective. In order to perform an R query, meaning give me rows that contain consultant or rows that contain developer, you put each of your criteria examples underneath one another in the criteria area, in this case D1 through D3. The output results to the extract area will only show rows that contain either consultant or expert. So let's go with that. Remembering to click somewhere on the uh, data range. Now we go to data, filter, advanced filter, paint the criteria area D1 through D3. Go to options, choose copy results to. In this instance, we leave regular expressions unticked. So we paint the, uh, so we choose the extract area. 
In this case, I'm going to again go for D10. And there you go. We now have an output area that just contains either consultants or experts somewhere within the area. So this is a list of Google keywords for Excel consultants and Excel expert. Hey, thanks for listening. If you found this tutorial interesting and you're not watching it on businessprogrammer.com, why not head over to businessprogrammer.com, pop your details into the email box, and I'll be sure to send you an update whenever I launch a new video or tutorial. Bye for now.